sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to welcome everyone tonight. Really appreciate all of you coming, especially since um, it's really chilly outside. Um, since we uh, we do have some hot apple cider, if anyone wants to warm up. Uh, along with wine and other refreshments. Um, anyway, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you again for coming. And um, my name is Christy Coker. I am um, the painter, and this is Andrea Wilkinson. She's the sculptor. This is our second major collaboration. We have really enjoyed working with one another and. Uh, this was a, a fun project to work on since we both enjoy um, our little feathered friends so much. Um, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I do. It's going to be very brief here and, and then Andrea will tell you a little bit about what she's done. My paint, this, this whole project evolved um, a few months back when Andrea had the show scheduled for December. She asked if I'd be interested in collaborating with her again, and I love birds, and so I thought, well, yeah, this sounds like a great idea. So when I first started, the paintings were the ones that you'll find behind you and against this back wall, or really it's the front wall, um, and they're more traditional watercolor paintings. Um, and as I worked on those for a while, I realized that it might make a more interesting show, a more interesting collection if I, instead of focusing on the birds the way Andrea was focusing on them, if I focused more on the environment of the bird, whether it was real or imagined. And so, um, and so basically that's why those are a little more traditional looking. I started using, she's also using, and she'll explain her process in a minute, but she uses paper in her process. So I thought, well, that might be another way, it would be a nice tie-in with what she's doing, is if I tried to use paper somehow in my paintings. And so when I started that, um, I would do a little bit of paint over the paper itself, and uh, the intention was originally to leave paper showing more like a collaged acrylic painting. But I really liked what, what it was doing as far as creating interesting textures. And so I decided to just go with that. And so basically what you're seeing on these pieces here um, are uh, layers and layers and layers of basically paper, then a varnish, then paint, then more varnish, more paint, and it's just layers and layers, many layers of, of that process. Um, and so, as I started, I left with I left the traditional and went on to just a little bit of the texture in targeted areas. And so you can see kind of the evolution as it started with just the pure watercolor, moving to a little bit of the texture, all the way around to some of these paintings here, which are the more highly textured pieces, fully textured. So anyway, I'll let Andrea explain her process, and we'll go from there. Uh, well, first of all, welcome everybody for coming. We really appreciate you being here tonight on this cold, kind of nasty, damp night. Um, this is a real departure for me, for those of you who are familiar with what I usually do. It's mostly bronze work. I work in clay and it's cast in bronze. And for the weight, if nothing else, I really enjoyed working with these pieces. So I can carry them all in on one hand. <laughs> a nice change. Inside is a rigid uh, it's a urethane foam um, that I carved into the basic shape of the bird. And then I use clay, it's an air dry clay, paper clay, um, that I finish it off with and I add uh, their little cheekbones and their eyebrows and their wingtips and that sort of thing in, in the clay. And then I paint them to sort of block out the colors of, um, because they are, they're, they're true to the species, they're not, um, I was trying to get away from over detailing them because I have a real tendency to do that when I work in, in clay. I get into the little fine textures, which I, which I really enjoy doing is the surface treatment, but 
just trying to be a little looser with these. Um, so the colors are pretty true, but I didn't want to just paint them. So instead of painting the finished sculpture, I painted the paper and then put the paper on the sculpture. So some of the paper started out as just a white rice paper, which is a very thin and, and can be very transparent. And some are uh, purchased printed papers that you find in a craft store or art supply store. Um, now this owl here has a lot of layers of paper on them. And, and you can see that these outer layers are transparent and they, some of them have been stamped. So you see different designs on top of other designs. Um, and then his legs, most of the legs I've made out of copper wire, different gauges of copper wire. Some of them are left bare. Um, some of them are covered with paper, clay of paper. And I make their little toenails. And, and I try to get some detail without going too crazy. Because I can go a little overboard with that sometimes. So their eyes, um, taxidermy eyes on the bigger birds. The little birds, um, like the little blue bird and the nuthatch over here, have little crystal eyes, little Swarovski crystal eyes. So they have a little twinkle, which I like. Um, and then for their bases, uh, we went hunting in the woods, Jeff and I, and we found many old grody pieces of wood and limbs, which I cooked in my oven to make sure all the little things were dead. Uh, scrubbed them out in the sink, coated them with varnish, um, and that's <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing that will come crawling out. I don't think. <laughs> uh, but that was a lot of fun, you know, doing all that. It, it was fun. It was fun to do the birds. It was fun to, to figure out what kind of base would be right for the bird. Like with, with the book under the uh, the crow over there. You know, I found the book, glued the, the pages together, covered it with black paper. And, and it just, you know, sometimes it took a while to kind of figure out how to do each one. But, um... It, it was it was fun. I really enjoyed doing it. So. Does anybody have questions for either of us? Well, if not, then I hope you enjoy the show, enjoy the rest of your evening, and uh, we hope you'll come back and visit us again soon. Mm -hmm.